Star signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. And this reading, we're going to find out who is thinking heavily about you right now and why. Today is the 30th, 30th of December, 2022. Time is 2.39 p.m. here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Now, please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for fire signs and if you were divinely guided to watch this video this message is meant for you even if you're dealing with the same fire sign now let's get your reading started spirits and angels please show me for fire signs leo aries and sagittarius who is thinking heavily about fire signs right now and why Four swords at the bottom of the deck. Ugh, there's a lot of thinking here. So definitely thinking a lot about you, thinking heavily about you right now. It feels like this person, you either could have rejected this person or this person could have rejected you because two swords, something about cutting off, something about shutting somebody out. Uh, five of Wands here is in love first. Maybe this is someone you've given up on. Um, you may not want to speak so much or talk too much to this person or you could have completely blocked this person. Six of Swords in love first can indicate that this person is still stuck. Still stuck in the past, stuck feeling rejected or stuck with the um, a decision that they may have made to maybe end this connection, okay? Because Ace of Cups in Reverse can indicate the connection started off very lovey-dovey or very romantic, but just didn't take off. And we've got the t Ten of Wands, sorry, Ten of Cups in reverse, and we've got the Judgment in reverse. This person will be thinking heavily in regards of a judgment call that they have made. I sense them trying to ignore it. I sense them not wanting to believe that they did something wrong or that they made the wrong judgment call. But intuitively, they kind of know, and it's been brewing on their mind here with the Four Swords. Ten of Cups in reverse, again, can indicate, you know, a separation there's like or that there, there could be trouble in paradise well this is somebody that perhaps you couldn't see a future with or this person couldn't see a future with you hence there could be a separation between the two of you five of swords here in reverse can indicate maybe this is someone who has given up on you given up on this connection or you may have given up on this person or this connection you know this person really wants to release you with the ten of swords here in reverse but you know, still can't stop thinking about you. We've got the nine of wands. They're still like kind of keeping watch, I would say, um, because this person is still standing. You may have hurt this person or this person may have hurt you in the past, but I feel like you're not with this person right now. These ten of these two tens are in reverse. Perhaps they want to reverse it. They could be thinking heavily in regards of reversing the outcome of this connection. Um, I think they're kind of like second guessing something like again a decision that they may have made here in the past and let's see more this person doesn't feel too confident about um talking to you reaching out to you expressing to you exactly how they feel because the empress here is in love first and the queen of cups can indicate this person could be a pisces cancer or a scorpio well this is someone you used to nurture so much right you spend a lot of your time nurturing them taking care of them taking care of this person but they hurt you anyways with the nine of wands here they gave up on you anyways or it could be you giving up on them because maybe they didn't see your value they didn't see your worth um, of some way, maybe it's about sensitivity with the Queen of Cups here. It could be some something that was being said. I think either they felt sensitive about it, you or you could have felt sensitive about it. Um, but this person loves you, cares about you. You may not see it, or you may not completely know it, um, because they seem kind of guarded with the Nine of Wands. They could be thinking heavily about what could be, what could have been for the both of you with two tens here in world first. If things didn't end, if both of you didn't have this disagreement, five of in world first or arguments. But it feels like if both of you, if both of you didn't have a disagreement or arguments, it could be an indication of this person unwilling to, unwilling to see what could have become in this connection. 
um, kind of in denial in regards of um, a decision that they may have made, perhaps that could have led to um, a separation or, again, what could have become for the both of you. It could have been very beautiful with the Ten of Cups here in reverse. So I do sense this person may be in denial um, about a judgment call that they may have made in the past, but they know that they shouldn't be in denial. They they know for, for sure with Eight of Cups here in reverse. The reason why they can't quite move on from this is because I feel like there's a sense of guilt where they may have made the wrong call, made the wrong judgment call, made the wrong decision. Four of Swords, this card, of course, it's talking about how this person constantly think about you on their bed laying down. It could be at any time of the day. They could also be praying for something, praying for communication, praying for decision, or just trying to reflect, I feel, to a sort of like basically trying to trying to weigh things out, trying to weigh, you know, a certain decision that this person has made. Again, I feel like they could be regretting about something that they have done or decision that they may have made. But this person loves you. I think they could be thinking heavily in regards of how kind you are as well. Queen of Cups. You could be embodying the Queen of Cups. Um, it's a water energy, but doesn't matter. But we all could embody any of these energies. I do sense them having, again, emotions for you. And also at the same time, um, they could be thinking heavily in regards of how you've been so kind, compassionate towards them and how how you've been with them, right? So nurturing, so caring, so empathetic. But I, I guess they can't move on from your Eight of Cups in reverse because they know it's really rare to find or to meet somebody with a heart of a gold, okay? Let's uh, grab a few of these oracles. I knew exactly what I was doing. They could be thinking heavily in regards of what they have done. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So this may be someone who has let you go or you may have let this person go in the past. I look for you everywhere. So this person is constantly trying to look for a replica of you. <laughs> Especially if both of you are separated. They could get, I feel like they could be thinking also about how they're more attracted to somebody or people in general who's who look more like you. It could be similar ethnicity as yours or similar skin color or similar height or similar body type or the way you talk, the way you behave or the, your personality in general. And then we've got the I'm so attracted to you. This person is still very much attracted to you. They could be thinking heavily in regards of how they are so attracted to you and they really want to tell you how they feel about you but I feel like they could be guarded I think they're taking a step back. This could be somebody that you think, you know, they will, that they will never come forward. They've given up already because there has been non-actions between two of you. But there are a lot of actions in their head, though, on their mind. All right, Fire Signs. Leo Aries, Sagittarius is your reading. And I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, subscribe, and I'll leave you with a couple of playlists on the screen right now. First one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. But these readings are still new, so they're still relevant because I post them every single day. I upload them right away. In fact, I upload them twice a day. Um, yeah, just want to let you know that they are very updated, very new, very fresh. All right, take care, Fire Signs. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.